about all the royal drama, the royal commentator and host of the To Die For Daily podcast, Kinsey Schofield joins us. Kinsey, morning to you. What else do we know about... I mean, it's another unleashing from this Scobie character. What else do we know about this book? I mean, well, people are saying that they do suspect that Omid might actually have access to details about the royal racist that we heard about during the Oprah Winfrey interview Ooh. that kind of evolved into an unconscious bias, according to Prince Harry. But at the time, uh, we heard whispers of it being King Charles. Prince Charles at the time might have said something uh, or perhaps Queen Camilla, uh, who was the Duchess of Cornwall at the time. But, you know, the idea of Prince William being this tyrant behind the scenes, it's hard for me to digest because if you've studied Prince William over the years, it was Ken Worf, uh, Princess Diana's security guard that watched both Harry and William. It was Paul Burrell, the butler um, that worked with both King, King Charles and Princess Diana and the boys. They all said that Prince William was a reluctant heir, that he had no desire to be king. And he would say this as a child and Harry would say, well, I'll be king. Uh, and then it's been within the, the recent weeks, recent months where he's been criticized for not being, um, you know, contributing enough to the monarchy. So it's, it's hard to hear these kinds of criticisms and to know as he grew up, he, he shied away from his, his job title to hear that behind the scenes he's power hungry and he's really aggressive. It just, it, it doesn't make sense for people that have studied the Prince over the last few years. Also, uh, Scobie has called King Charles unpopular. I mean, that's potentially his opinion, but, but also we know that no one could ever possibly be yeah. as popular as his mother. So were those kind of comments kind of fair game? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all kind of surprised at the evolution of King Charles. I think we were all sort of worried about how people would respond to him after Queen Elizabeth because she was just so perfect and wonderful and gentle and sweet. Um, so I, him being unpopular, I don't know if that's necessarily true right now. I think that we have seen and been pleasantly surprised by the public's reaction to him, both him and the, and Queen Camilla. Um, so while I kind of, I, I think that's like the least salacious tidbit we've, we've heard about the book so far, but I will wait and read it before I judge it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I, I, I don't know, I, hopefully it's, it's hopefully it's not as hurtful as it sounds like it could be isn't the the reality kinsey of, of a royal? i mean i might write one of these but you can write anything in a royal book can't you no one's going to really challenge it there's never a, a full <laughs> comeback you can say the queen mother used to juggle whippets every christmas or something <laughs> nobody's going to turn around and release saying we completely refute the whippet allegation <laughs> Uh, no one's going to do that. You can say whatever you want. Never um, complain, never explain, right? Exactly. I mean, that is the thing with this, isn't it? You know, once you, you, you read something saying that, you know, William is the, the glue in the royal family, he's the sanity of the royal family, he's the most decent man on planet Earth, and then Scobie comes along and kind of scuppers that a little bit. You can really write whatever you want to. Well, the Daily Beast here in the States is reporting that if the royal racist storyline is featured within the book, that is the only time we might hear or see the palace push back because they are very sensitive about that topic. And the king wants the world to know that he loves and embraces his grandchildren. So I do think that that's the one topic they might actually react to. But in general, you're absolutely right. They typically keep their mouths shut. And it's if you acknowledge it, it's the Barbara dry sand effect that's what we call it here if you acknowledge it you make it a bigger deal so yeah. they ignore it and, it and you know wait for the next news cycle to flush through uh, so moving on to the prince of wales uh, uh traveling sorry to singapore to give out prizes at the earth shop prize we had a guest on earlier kinsey who pointed out we would completely missed it the fact that he he had actually flown to singapore despite having said previously that he wasn't going to the women's world cup final because of his carbon footprint. Well, I mean, he was dragon boating this morning, so obviously he's not completely against other modes of transportation. Um, per, you're, you're right, though. This, may, this Some people are going to think that's not a great look. Um, but I, I do think, in general, Earthshot is an incredible opportunity for him. You know, it's not just an award ceremony. These are sponsorships. These are grants. 
They are um, giving people the, the finances to actually create tangible things that could change the world for the better. And the best part is that these whether it be a product or whether it be just a new way of, for us to function and uh, that's environmentally friendly, it's got fi Prince William's fingerprints on it. So this is really a legacy project for him. And I, I you know, it, there's something really genuine and there's a, a sincerity there that I think will, in the long run, I think it's going to be great for the royal family and for his reign one day. Uh, just a final point, we've got some new coins coming out to mark uh, the King's 75th birthday. Uh, that's very exciting, isn't it? Isn't that? I, that is great. I love that. I just, I tried to bribe my nephew over the weekend and he said, I don't want your cash, I prefer coins. And these specifically are supposed to help children um, learn to count, which is adorable. Um, I just, you're going to have to save me some because I won't be over there for a while. So if you guys could, <laughs> when you're emptying out your pockets, if you could put some aside for me, I would greatly appreciate <laughs> it. won't have King I Charles' think face on a dime. I mean, that's outrageous, right? <laughs> no, not at all. I think it's sweet. All right, Kinsey, thank you. Kinsey Schofield with us.